Now in this video, let us try to solve this example. So let us see the example. So fx is defined as this piecewise function. For x greater than 0, the function is sin x by x. For x equal to 0, at that point the function is strictly defined as 1. And for x is strictly less than 0, the function is defined as x plus 1. So this is the piecewise function. This is one piecewise function. So what we have to do, we want to check whether if this function is fx continuous at x equal to 0. So this is my question. So what we have to do, our step 1 is, at first we want to uh, calculate the left hand limit and right hand limit at that point. So limit extending to 0 plus fx. So when extending to 0 plus means we are approaching to 0 from the right hand side. That means at this right hand side that is basically positive x axis. So when x is greater than 0 then the function is nothing but sin x by x. So extending to 0 plus sin x by x. Now in lecture in one of the lecture uh, sir has already proved that limit extending to 0 sin x by x this exists and it is nothing but 1. So as it exists it means that whether we are approaching from the right hand side or left hand side it does not matter. So in both case this is same and the value is 1 that actually means this limit exists and so the limit is 1. So limit extending to 0 plus sin x by x is nothing but 1. Now what about the left hand limit? Now left hand limit means extending to 0 minus fx. So extending to 0 minus means we are approaching from the left hand side of 0 that means approaching from the negative side negative x axis towards 0. So when x is negative when x is strictly less than 0 the function is nothing but x plus 1. So what is x plus 1? So this is limit extending to 0 minus x plus 1. So as we are tending towards 0 this value is approaching towards 1. As you can see because suppose I am taking half minus half. So for minus half the value is half. So for minus 1 by 3 so we are approaching towards 0. So minus 1 by 3 the value is 1 minus 1 by 3 that is 2 by 3. So minus 1 by say 1 by 5. So for minus 1 by 5 the value is approaching to the value of x plus 1 is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 5 that is 4 by 5. So you can see that this value is approaching towards 1. This is increasing and this value is approaching towards 1. So yeah so that's what we get. So at limit extending to 0 plus it is 1. Limit extending to 0 minus it is also 1. So this limit exists. So limit exists because this left hand limit and right hand limit both are same and that is equal to 1. So this is equal. So and this is we can write it as extending to 0 fx and that is 1. Okay. So this is the first step we are uh, for the first step we are done. So the limit exists at x equal to 0. Now is it same as the function value? So function value is at x equal to 0 the function value is given as 1. So yeah exactly the limit extending to 0 fx this is 1 and which is nothing but f of 0. Hence at x equal to 0 the function is continuous. Now we can take a look at the graph of this function and verify whether we are correct or not. So this is the graph of the function. So for x greater than 0 this is sin x by x and for x less than 0 this is the straight line x plus 1 and at x equal to 0 the function is defined as 1. So if we approach from the right hand side and also from the left hand side let us see what happens. So we are seeing that the functional value is approaching towards 1. Yeah, as we are approaching towards 0 from the both side, the function value is approaching towards 1. And at x equal to 0, the function value is exactly 1. So we can see it again. Yeah. So as we are approaching from the left and from the right, for the both side, the function value is approaching towards 1 as we are approaching towards 0. Yeah. And at x equal to 0, the function value is 1. So at that point, at x equal to 0, the function is continuous.
थैंक यू